Good morning, Hornet Nation. Welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Anthony McAvoy. Today is Monday, April 8th, 2019. We had a very busy weekend here at Lynchburg Sports for all athletics near and far, so let's go ahead and take a look at what happened. It was code red game for the men's lacrosse team against rival Roanoke College. Colin Dean right here with the pass into the alley for freshman Josiah Martin, who converts for the early 1-0 lead. Next, we see keeper Patrick Cornelius stonewall that Roanoke attempt. Cornelius would, would finish with 12 saves on the night. Jack Spears now takes the shot, which is stopped by the Roanoke keeper, but right place, right time for Trammell Robinson, who collects the rebound and puts it into the back of the net. Nick Willerts with the assist to Andrew Thomas here, who takes a quick shot and converts to put Lynchburg up 4-3. to three. 37 seconds later, Ty Mitchell decides to take this one himself and finishes strong to give Lynchburg a two-goal lead. Mitchell now gives this one up to Spears, who goes top shelf where Mama hides the cookies. And Lynchburg wins this one 18-10. Andrew Thomas with the Texas hat trick, and Lynchburg moves to 5-0 in ODAC play. Now, pre-game fun for Carly Sandler as women's lacrosse geared up for Ferrum College. It was also the play for the cure game. Corinne LaMare is going to get the scoring started a minute and a half into the game with a shot right here. This would be her third goal of the season. Now, Kelsey Trevison picking up the assist here as she finds Hannah Creasy, who converts. Trevison's going to get a great pass here from Maddie Rupert and puts this one into the back of the net for her first goal of the game. And now Kaylee Ridgely is going to score one of her three goals on the day. The Hornets win 21-4. Kelsey Trevison went off four goals and three assists. Down at Moonfield, we had a top 10 matchup against number two Virginia Wesleyan as you see Joe Hutzler and 80 John Waters chatting it up before the game. Kaylee Cox on the mound for the Hornets as Kayla Hugate makes the diving attempt to get the Wesleyan batter out at first. Look at the movement on this pitch right here as Kaylee Cox gets the strikeout to get out of the inning. Great play here now you're going to see from the Hornets infield as Sarah Commons is going to start the 4-6-3 double play. Lynchburg would ultimately fall 1-0 in game one. Cox with the distance, only allowing four hits. Now to game two we go. Coach Simmons giving some adjustments to Sarah Commons. Hugate making another highlight real play as she snags that one out of the air, and she's all smiles after that one. A pass ball by the Wesleyan catcher allows Brittany Coffey to come in from third and put Lynchburg on the board. Next up, Haley Wood putting this one into center field, which allows Sarah Commons to score. Lynchburg still ends up falling 7-2 and is swept for only the second time this season. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the game results from the weekend. The Lynchburg track and field team participated in the Colonial Relays. Madeline Van Aken finished sixth in the pole vault. Pole vault. I should say, I'm sorry. She cleared 12 and one half inch, which is a program best. Samantha Schreiber was 15th in the 10,000 meter run. She ran that in 34 minutes, 41 seconds, which was a program best. Tristan Lucy Spidell finished second in the 3,000 meter steeplechase. He finished that in nine minutes and 19 seconds, which was also a program best. The Lynchburg baseball team traveled to Shenandoah and picked up a win in game one of the doubleheader 10 to five. Garrett Jackson with three hits, four RBIs, and one run in that one. They would ultimately lose the second game three to two. Parker Schaefer with a hit and an RBI. The Lynchburg tennis, men's tennis team was defeated 6 to nothing by Virginia Wesleyan. And the Lynchburg golf results, this is just from Sunday. The team score was a 276, which was good enough for first place, which is a new team round record. Carter Old was 5 under par, which was 65, which is a new program single round record. Josh Petrillo, 2 under par at 68 and Branson Terrell was at par at 70. Let's take a look at the Hornets in action. The Lynchburg women's tennis team will just go across the street for a meet tomorrow at three o'clock against Randolph. And then the Lynchburg baseball team will host Virginia Wesleyan tomorrow at 3 p.m. Coverage by LHSN. 
As I said, a very, very busy weekend. We hope you guys can come out to these next two games. From all of us here at LHSN, I'm wishing all of y'all a very, very happy Monday.